G'day guys, it's Jara here and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So last time we left on a cliffhanger of should I say I love you to Sayori or you'll always be my dearest friend. So if you've noticed, yes, I do have fairy lights all in the back. I'm still packing up stuff for Christmas time. So, and I'm also prepping a bunch of videos. So this will be in the backdrop for a bit until my Christmas is over because right now, I'm currently filming this, it is like December 8th. So Christmas is still around for me. I mean, I could like block it, but I can't be bothered. So I've been debating what to say. Should I say I love you or you'll always be my dearest friend? Because she has strong feelings towards me, like she loves me. But I'm worried if I say I love you that it will break her heart. In the way, because she's like, oh, you're caring too much about me. In that way. Or should I just say you'll always be my dearest friend. Keeps it close. But will that break her heart too? It's a decision I'm going to have to pick. And I know I'm probably going to pick the incorrect one. Well, I'm going to pick you'll always be my dearest friend. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is things like that you've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seem after you've joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult thing feelings right now, but please trust me, I know what's best and will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back the way they were. I... I, I see... So he forces a smile through an incredible pain and expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish? So please. Please don't worry about the stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there was no happiness down the path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Jara. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. So he smiles, finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. Sorry, headphone users. In three, two, one. <laughs> I'm so shocked that I don't even know how to react. So he looks over his shoulder, flashes me one weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why are my feelings are horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is, su say, is support Sayori through her feelings of, about helping her on her path. That's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if it should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are the back the way, back the way they were. I'm going to give everything I got. Sarah will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes with a smile on her face every day. It's the day of the festival. All of the days I expected this one, I'll be walking to school with Siri, but Siri isn't answering the phone. I started going to her house to wake up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should nearly be complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry. I gently roll it up to take with me. She sends me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassure her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Nozuki about the event. I'm more excited for this to be over so I can spend more time with Suri and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Uh oh. Jara! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. There must be one she prepared that has all the poems we were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and I submitted it. So that's the one I'm performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Siri with you. She, yeah, she's overslept again. That dummy. You think that one, the one day, you think that on days this important she tried a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Siri told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful. Now it's nearly not that simple for her. I only say because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe you should have gone to wake her up after all. 
You should take a little responsibility for her, Jara. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Zuri really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? It makes me really seem like a really bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I feel a little chilled down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is printed, neatly printed in its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki and po Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Seri's poem. It's different from the ones she practiced. This one I haven't read before. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she says to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. I just stop, it just stops moving. So I, everything she says to me is Monica. Get out of my favorite portrait how much I love you was me. So she wrote this when she was mad. Uh, what is this? Reading this poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Jara, what's wrong? Um, nothing. This poem is completely different from anything else Sari has written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sari, so, uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. <laughs> Monica calls out after me. I quickly, I quickened my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Siri. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to school her makes me really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they've always been. That she always needs me. I reached his house and knock on the door. I didn't expect an answer, so she's not picking up the phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a hairy sleeper, I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all, w waking up in her own house. Isn't it more like sh something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Suri's room, I knock on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter the room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say... An, un an exception has occurred. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It, it has to be. This isn't real. There's no way it can be real. So you wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I told you I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and everything would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her agonizing scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I... Why did that... Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything could ha I could have done to prevent this. But I just spent more time with her, walking her to school. I gave her what I know she wanted our relationship. Then this could have prevented it. I know I could have pre pre prevented this. Screw this literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, I wasn't careful enough. 
And now I carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. End. That's the end? Yo, what? Why do you mix? So you got Yuri? Sayori, bit of Monica. I see an annoying girl running towards me. Okay, what is happening? Her name. What the hell? I've always walked to school alone. I've always told myself about time to meet some girl, something like that. But I had no motivation to join a club. I'm pretty content just getting by on my average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. The school day is ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. Clubs. There really aren't any interest to me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. Guess I have no choice but to start with an anime club. Jara! Monica? Oh my goodness, I didn't. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. We, well, we really taught, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... What'd you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. There's like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the event. I'd much rather right, I, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm saying a new one, a literacy club. Literacy? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members. For something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring, you know. Literally, club can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of our new members keeps her manga collection in the classroom. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She's really interested in manga. It says that manga is literacy, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Jara. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you'd do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least very, at least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. So how can I even refuse someone like Monica? So I guess I could check it out. Awesome, you're really sweet, Jar. you know that. It's nothing, really. Okay, something is weird. Yeah, yeah I know you're back. A guest? Where you kill the atmosphere? What the hell? Okay, you're Monica's boyfriend. What? No, I'm not. Nozuki. She's the vice president now. What the heck? So I'm skipping through text because I want to see what's different. You just happen to run it. So Monica brought me this time. What the hell is happening? So Siri's dead. None of them realize Siri's here. Um, make you feel at home. It must be hard to start a new club. What the hell? Why isn't anyone talking about... 
Also, they restarted, like, because it said girl one, girl two. So this is like a restart of the game. Hmm. I mean, they all talk the same. What the hell? Yeah, I know Nozuki likes manga. I'm just trying to speed through this and see if there's anything different. Okay, so she's still saying the same things. Yeah, yeah, we get that. So, what? Um. Okay, so yeah, yeah, still the same. La da da da. So something. What? This is weird. Okay, so you're still the same. Yeah, let's all go home and write a poem. Okay. Yuri's talking a lot more. Um. Okay, so basically Monica has taken over the job of Sayori. Um. I guess I need to tell you the truth. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival, I'm to find ourselves against these girls. So am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? But, mm, and besides, this club itself is pretty relaxed. Right. Okay, I decided that I'll join the literacy club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's weird though, because like, there's just random glitches now. Yeah, they're still doing the same. With that to pass the class and make my way home. Nozuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Perhaps I'll have the chance to be close to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most- okay. You have a lot of special poem, would you like to read it? Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I suppose I su it's supposed to be the response. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though, so I don't think I'll do it again unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memo of the occasion below. What the hell? So, going only for Yuri caused Sayori's death. I'm just gonna... Okay, they're all purpley pink, right? I just clicked random stuff. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. I'm just trying to fast... Forward. Your face glitched. What the hell? Why are you in front of the text? What is going on? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's still the same text. So text hasn't changed. It just seems that, like, They've completely erased Sari completely out of it. Like she's just been erased. Yeah, yeah she's accidentally cute. Okay, it zoomed out a bit. Hmm. Yeah, best thing I feel bad was her from reading. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. Okay, so she spaced out. 
I'm trying to see if anything's changing. Cause like, technically we've just finished the game. But I want to see if anything changes. Hmm. It's that I might have to restart the entire game and then just try going down different paths. What should I not go? Yeah, it's the same book. Um. Okay, let's keep going. This is a really interesting game. Okay, horrible thing. But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway, then suddenly... That was different text on top. My whole body gets... Hold on. History, history, history. But when I feel like I sh I guess... Then suddenly, I'm not really, and I'm not again. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost any interest. But I guess that's right. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Don't worry, you're passionate about reading. Hmm. Jeez, because of antiseptic eye in this place. Jesus! Um, let's just get to the book. Alright, it's fine. That's... I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want to, it's just something I'm not very used to. I'm not used to being in company, it's distracting. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a bad thing, a little distracting, uncomfortable. I'm trying not to like... Oh, damn, I keep skipping text. Ah, open the book and start the problem. As soon as I understand what you means by reading company, maybe a little shading. Sorry, I was just. You, you really pull it. Oh, damn it! I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, uh huh. Work. Uh huh. I suppose so too. I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page here. So nothing here has changed. But I'm holding it like this. We're closer than before. It's distracting. Because you can't focus on a book. That's a creepy smile. Hey, come on. Give me more random text that you're flying at me. Okay, so we've done like Yuri's route, I assume. I assume there's like a Natsuki route, a Monica route, and a Sayori route. So maybe I'll try doing all the routes because this is fascinating. Because I'm just trying to like go through the entire game again, seeing if there's anything different. Because, like, the title screen, new game, was written randomly. Your breathing's annoying. Okay, all of this seems normal. So you don't know anything. You don't do anything to her. Yuri does this thing sometimes, so it's not alarming. Okay. See, I want to check on Yuri. Hmm. See, now Yuri's not on here. Because she's off. Okay, first Monica. She needed to be my partner when I wanted to put an effort in. By the way, since you're knowing everything, if you ever had a suggestion for activities and things, you'll do better. I'm always listening. Yeah, same. Anyway, want to share your palm with me? That's fine. Great job. I was going, oh, my hair, I'm reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go something so deep. <laughs> True. 
That's not even fair. You know that Yuri likes that kind of writing, right? Oh, has she come back yet? Mm-hmm. So then the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. We're all starting to our poems. I need to apologize for plenty of time. Hmm. So I'm pretty confident on who says they're not good. I'll, I'll read the poems, but text some highlight go through as fast as I can to see if anything's different or changed. And then I guess each route's different, I don't know. Hold on all, but he wasn't looking at me, confused I friendly glance at my surroundings. But my burnt eyes can no longer see colour, and there are others in this room. Are they talking, or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The sound of frantic sc scrolling playing tricks on my ears, the room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air is... The air breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not the person to ask. This is a weird game. This game. Okay, so. Okay. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on, on a point. If you keep your pen in the same pop chill, you just get a big dark pool of ink. So you just move your hand go with the flow. I'm leaving Yuri for last for everything. So basically, it's not cute enough. Yeah, eagles can fly, so it's it's the same. So poems are still exactly the same. It's literally like a refresh, but Sari's missing. So that's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side to write a poem. Cool, cool, cool. Fast forward. Come on now. Um, exceptional. What was that? He's going to hate me. What am I getting so nervous for? Yeah, this is my first time writing poetry. Yeah, 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 whatever. So all this is still the same, there's just randomly different text. Trying to get through it all is hard. So Siri doesn't exist in this world. Okay, nothing's different there. Your handwriting's beautiful actually, but whatever. What the hell is going on in this game? Guys, do you know? Because I don't. It's a whole new world. Okay. Come on. Are you a ghost, Yuri? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lingering of the past. Is there anything different? No one's glitching. It all seems normal so far. Hmm. The music sounded weird for a second. What's with this language? It's fancy, yours is cute. Yeah, 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 language is cute, you two are arguing, what else is new? I'm trying not to like, I want to skip through as much as I can 
but like I don't want to go too fast because I obviously want to like see the black text and I want to see them glitching and stuff. You know, press your new. Weird music. I love this game. It's so weird. It's so funny. Um, this doesn't involve you. So obviously they're arguing. I don't remember if it did this before or not, but I think it did. Um, nope, definitely this is getting worse. Ah! Okay. What the hell? Okay. What? History. Um, um, I gotta pick this wiki because I don't know you. Ain't. What the hell? Um, hey Jara. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. Hold on, I'm going back to history for a second. I want to see, yeah, all of this part. Um, let's go back to... Maybe you're just jealous. Um, no, you fool yourself. Um, okay, so we can soar up to... Where? Look, uh, I think here. This doesn't involve you talking out and your insecurities and others like that. You really act as young as you look, Nozuki. Me, look who's talking. Who wants to be an edgy biatch? Edgy, sorry. Now my life's too much for someone for your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you if you want to prove anything that's surprising others with your sickening attitude, you think you can contribute your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about it is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on the edge. You're, oh, you already do that. Cutting yourself, yeah. Um, ah, suddenly you hear Yuri towards me. She knows I'm saying that Jara. It's not true. How did I get dragged into this first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, I probably think more highly of me. So, of course, it's going to be Monica, Monica, Monica. Let's step outside, okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even comfort my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never had it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. She quickly runs away. Oh dear, well it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I believe you, I have no idea what Yuri has said to Nozuki or did. Jara, please don't hate me, please. I'm not like this, there's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We don't, we didn't, mm, I'm sure Nozuki will forget about tomorrow completely. Anyway, the meeting's over, you can go home if you want. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. And the president should be the last one out. I'll be waiting for you when to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take your wrong spirit. It sounds like you want me to round something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just didn't get much a chance to discuss my book with Jara. It seemed to be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess you don't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing you trouble. History. I guess I don't have a choice. I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you understand. And it cuts off. Oh, there was a glitched one. Oh, I missed that one. No. Club meeting. Hi, Yuri. Um, suddenly, so he's in the corner of the room. I, 
I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before and something just came out of me, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, you could tell something was off yesterday. Jaro, don't say this kind of thing so frankly, they make me a little too happy. Hmm. Have you guys seen Monica? Man, you I guess you haven't either. No, I haven't. I'm worried a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... What the heck are you talking about? Did you do something to me yesterday? So her memory's been wiped. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Hmm. Interesting. So we're getting more and more information out of this game. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nozuki was. I was not. Haha. Uh -huh. What well, took you so long? Piano practice. Oh, my last period was study hall, to be honest. I just kind of like, just track a chime. Uh huh. You would have had the bell ring at least. Practicing piano. Don't give me more credit than I deserve. Well, thank you, Yuri. Okay, um, I won't let you down. Okay, so everything seems the same. Right off to the closet, um, since you... I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time today, I mean in the club. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I've been a little forceful, aren't I? Sorry. Okay, so I'm um, next route. Following someone else that isn't Yuri. Okay, you go make tea. She goes and go plug it in. Okay, I'll be right back. You stay here. It won't take long. I want to follow. Did you really leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher and make some tea. Hmm. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Someone holding her up. I'm bored, so I just decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place Yuri would be would be in the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Huh, 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 huh. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like someone's sucking air through their teeth. <sniffs> Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? <laughs> sharp inhale, sounds like it's coming from ha 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 my soldier's place. I see I'm bored and suddenly he's ten minutes past. I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Why did it reverse? Is that in my history? Look, it's gone. Hmm. That's weird. So we definitely know she's self-harming, and that's a fact. Because we saw it. But why was I reversed? Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why? But easier on my back, because, you know... My chest is hurting. My posture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate. You're gonna feed her chocolate. I'm trying to see what well, the text has changed because this is so fascinating. Hmm. Nothing in the classroom has changed. 
Well, if Sasha might get smudges on the pages, you didn't think about it, Yuri will hold the book while you feed her chocolate in a really creepy way. Friends do this, but not like this. Okay, come on. Let's speed through this. Alright, I can't. My teacup gets knocked over. Jara. My heart hurts. My heart won't stop pounding, Jara. I can't calm down. Can't focus on anything anymore. I can you feel it, Jara? Yuri suddenly pressing my head against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to to look at you. Ooh. Huh. I can see your face here. Um, it's time to share poems. Feel for what is in a train wreck. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That was weird. So Yuri likes me. Mizuki doesn't. Anything different? No. Yes, there's a way to straw. I was just warming up. Hmm. Interesting. What did he do? Alright, next is Monica. But I don't think I have a choice. It's get I didn't just spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excited when she's around, which wouldn't be a problem itself. But when you get too excited, you find a place to hide and start cutting yourself with a pocket knife. Isn't it kind of messed up? Like she has a collection. I think she just gets kind of high from it. It might even be like a, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to you. So I think if you keep your distance, I'll probably be the best for her. Why? Don't be shy. I spend a little bit of time with it. Okay, so the game is pointing at me to spend more time with Monica. Save me. Delete her. But delete who? The colors, they weren't bright. Be it says delete her, but I don't know who. Do they mean Yuri? Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know, um... Who am I talking about? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, I'm I am giving it a save. All of my game slots are gone. <laughs> Can you hear me? Anything What the hell? Uh, do you like it, Jara? This is, might be better than yesterday's. That makes me so happy. Hmm. Okay, this seems a little different, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to just read it anyway. Wheel. Rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, ball head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven hot stakes, a dock ship, a portrait to another world, a tiny rope of tire to a thick rope. What the hell? Break, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing will, breathing, breathing seems the thing. Uh huh. Doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. There's a pen for Lottie Burger, so I don't have to say cubing, and I am um, just really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Now you're touching it. <laughs> Okay. What the hell? Yes. 
A dream. This was done by a typewriter. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking, watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was there was nails sticking out of the wall everywhere, and there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on TV, so the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who the person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Okay, everyone. Mm, ugh, festival, yada yada yada. Don't worry, we're gonna keep it really simple. Everyone's gonna have fun. No one's gonna be glitchy. What the hell? This is what? <laughs> Okay, you can't take advantage of Jara. You didn't even see a joining card with other people in mind. You didn't even talk until Jara joined. Um, it's so interesting finding new members. The rest of us are flying like this. To about Nizuki's word. That's not true at all. But you're seeming different. Um, this club is nothing more than a place for few people to hang out. Why well, do I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against noon members or anything. We you hope you didn't get off it well. It's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember you won't even give me a chance not to join. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting a club was a mistake? No, look what you've done. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word of choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand, it's just I want a place it's nice to hang out. At least for a little bit of time, things were nice until I came and ruined it. This is bad, I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion for the festival? Who cares about that noxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy you're here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to know my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision right for the club. But what about you, Jar? What do you get out of this club? Uh-huh. What the hell? Stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I know things are a little awkward yesterday. I feel like you deserve it since you're a wonderful vice president. Also a wonderful friend, Monica. I wanted to do everything can. Best club. Hmm. But... I'm going to go chat a little bit with Jar before you leave just to see what he thinks of this time and all that. It's important as president. Okay. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Jar, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I really hate to see you unhappy. Okay, it's getting distorted. I feel like responsible as president and I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls giving you a hard time with how mean Azuki is and everything and you being a little bit, you know, <laughs> sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people who, you know what I mean? But it's weird because it's all the time you've been here we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days so I didn't mean to get so, say something weird, there's just something I've been hoping to talk about with you. The things. I know only you could understand, so that's why. Wait, not yet. No. So she wants to talk to me more, but because she's stuck in the game, the game has to do a certain thing. Whew, I'm just gonna... Okay, a little... Watch, watch down here. There's a little head popping, watch. What the hell? Okay, there's another glitchy one. Monica's head was popping up. 
I've been waiting for you. You say that like I always do that seriously. Okay, those two are arguing again. Hmm. Wait, did that just say networthy? Oh, noteworthy. Sorry, I said. I feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Yeah, ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Passion. Okay, we're getting there, huh? However, I understand you feel you're not wanting the club to change. I'll buy you a new manga. Sorry, the last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking yesterday and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I felt threatened. My new member, I don't know why. Monica, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't it be the same without you, Nozuki? We could we already have plans today. Um. Oh, yeah, right. Actually, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Something is weird. Do you mind? Okay, yeah, yeah, make tea, whatever. Sure. Hmm. May I have the water pitcher? That's okay, you stay here, it won't take long. Did you leave again? No, it's not like that. Ten minutes has passed. Okay, so I'm really repeating this day. Okay. Ready to call up here on? It's Yuri. No! How did I? Sorry, I said a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it really hasn't shown or anything. Even we we just started doing time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things with something is usually an improvement in light. That's what I discovered when I was a bit younger. I think I would come on really strong and get a little too intense. I made people not want to be around me, so I started hating things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, like knives. And that the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the thing that matters most to me, then it's easy if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the car, my heart starts to go crazy. So making me do weird things. I don't know what's happening, Jara. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. Really soon... I feel like something's sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before. She's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. No we need to interfere with our reading time. There's another face here. You can see an eyeball there. Yeah, look, Monica's there. You can see eyeball. It's all here. No, it depends where I throw it. Haha. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, so it sounds strange, but would you understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be? Yeah, you can definitely see Monica more. I'll show you my collection. Go more from various arts. Make sure they're fair use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club. I don't be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Is that why you joined the literature club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we met each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting for years. Will you do that with me, Jara? Will? Monica!
Monica. Does he seem lovely? I said, I warn you, Jara. This one's alright. Yeah, so Monica knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah, so read it carefully. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strangely. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not like, normally like this. She's always been quite polite and alternative, things like that. Okay, this is really biasing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me. I don't want... I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe I convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try and be friends with Yuri, and it hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm not going to hate myself later for meaning that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please... Um, but please see if you can do anything to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Please just try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and this is why I'm coming to you. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's unlikable. Can you hear me, Jara? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, restart the game. What the hell? Just Monica. Just Monica. Who should I show the poem to next? Finally, uh huh. You hold my poem. I love it. Everything about it. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure. I could die, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. Hmm. Something's weird, other than the whole, like, just Monicum thing. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over again. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oils enter my bloodstream. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Does it say something? I can't read it. So we got blood stains and some type of stain. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poem is about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, I'm the most thoughtful person in the club. Yes? A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party interviewed with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contracted cause of the strip to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Where's Yuri? Okay, to immune to Um. So Yuri's dying soon. I'm not useless. This is weird. Alright, come on. Let's scroll through. Are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Please, like, you. You and Monica, hey. Yes, you are, Monica. Just like, okay. Alright, I know I've had it with you, those two by now. We can just. Okay, what? It's not even. Look. If I go to any others, it takes me straight to Monica. Look. I don't have a choice. 
Yeah, you hate me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's fair to see it's what he chose. Hmm. Uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self important you are. Pouring jar from every single time you're not including something. Are you jealous, crazy, or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out others? Here's a suggestion Have you considered killing yourself? Be beneficial to your mental health. Let it go. I don't think she wants us around right now. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Hey, Jar, Yuri's really something, isn't she? Finally. This is really all I wanted. Jara, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <sighs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Does it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants you to revolve them in their life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling's too strong now. I don't care anymore, Jara. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Jara, just let me know how much I love you. I love you so much that I, I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just wanted to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I just want you all to myself and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Jara. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Um. Um. No? Because that was damn creepy. Um. What do I do? If I say no, she's going to kill herself. If I say yes, I feel like Monica's going to kill her. If I keep the way she's going to die. Can. can Okay, I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna skip. Oh my god. All the blood's turning dark. Sunset. Nighttime. Why aren't I just leaving? The, yeah, the blood's turned black. And the life from her eyes is going. Okay! I didn't expect it to go this deep. Bloody hell! Okay, I didn't... <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Okay, she's like gone now. I spend the whole weekend here. Why am I still here? That is not a pocket knife, that's a real knife. Like a big knife. Why am I still here? I should. What the hell? Alright, it's festival time. Ah! I 
I'm here. Jared, did something happen? Nozuki ran past me. Oh. I... Oh. I... Uh -huh. Well, that's a shame. Wait, you were here the entire weekend, Jara? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. You deleted Nozuki and you? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I get the chance to. You know, before I, they stop existing and everything. This should take only a second. Um, can you hear me? Is this working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Jara. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, uh-huh. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you called him. I'm talking to you, Jara. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yeah, I got th gather that. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Yeah, no kidding, Monica! About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Uh huh. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. While it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sari more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsession with personal backfire too. She may have forced you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Jara? Are you all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Jara. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and serious you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have a free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Jara, but now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here from, with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while, either, why the world around me must start to become more and more grey more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't unlike until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Jara. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomic personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird Inventable etched into their game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Jara, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. Where there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile at this every day from now on? Jara, will you go out with me? I don't really have a choice. 
I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Jara. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Jara. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you won't believe how easy it was to delete Nazuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game's directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's property and find the browser location file button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Uh-huh. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with the emotion. I'm going to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that's part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica. It's all just Monica. Knew you were at the bottom here. Mona. Monica. Mona. Monok. Money. What the hell is happening? I'm just gonna do this. Hi again, Jara. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Jara, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. Uh huh. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage into together let dismiss. I ran out with a flick of her pen. The lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices beyond the special day. After all, no, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm aware I always put my heart into these poems I write. The truth is the poems I've written have been about my realization or about you. That's why I've never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like anyone else. Like that would help the two of us end together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Oh, so I was supposed to delete her. Now we don't need to keep hiding anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Jara? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a sec. You're recording this, aren't you? Yes. Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friends it's a little rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? How did you know I was recording you? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some... Um, did I scare you? Uh, you're so cute. Anyway, Jara, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry, even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is wrong as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I've always had something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. What the hell? She knew I was recording this. How the hell did she know that? And I know she wants me to delete her game file, which I'm going to have to figure out how to do. I know she told me how to do it. But, like, I can't go into history. This is pretty random, but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. 
Hold on. Did it tell me how to delete her? I know it did. Uh, yeah, it knew I was recording it, which was the creepy part. Oh, I can't. Okay. Like, didn't plants evolve from to being spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanisms to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while you digest. Sorry, that was kind of weird analogy, I guess. Uh-huh. I'll just- it just came back into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. Uh-huh, I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. The hell? Okay, so I'm just gonna wait- a little bit see if there's anything else because I know there's like text and all that stuff but what the actual hell is going on in this game so this game not only is it self-aware which is really cool it knows about the fourth wall seems we're in outer space because like galaxies and all this stuff or like the emptiness we seem to be in her room because we're not in a classroom the floor looks different What the hell? And Sayori's gone, and everyone else is gone. You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. I actually used to hate rap music, maybe just because it was popular or I would only hear the junk they play on the radio. But some of my friends got more into it and it helped me keep an open mind. Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways, since you need to find Fit your lines to a rhythm, there's much more emphasis on wordplay. When people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. I kind of wish I had a, a rapper in the literature club. Uh, sorry if that sounds silly, but it would be really interesting to see what they came up with. It would really be a learning experience. But you said your friends listened to the radio, and I thought you were part of the game. So are you real, or are you fake? Because she just said that she doesn't want to break the fourth wall, she's part of the game, she knows this. But how does she listen to music then, like rap? How does she have friends that listen to rap if she, she's made up of the game? That's weird, like, do you ever just feel like there's no real reason for you to be alive? I don't mean in like a suicidal way. I just mean how nothing we do is special. Just being in school or working at some job for some company. It's like you're completely replaceable and the world wouldn't miss you if you were gone. It makes me really want to go and change the world after I graduate. But the older I get, the more I realise that it's an immature frame of thinking. It's not like I can just go and change the world. Like, what are the chances that I'll be the one to invent artificial intelligence or become president? It feels like I'm never going to make up for the heaps of resources I've spent living my life. That's why I think the key to happiness is just to be hopelessly selfish. Just to look out for the ones and those happiness to their friends only that grew up with them. Never mind the fact that they're spending their entire life taking and consuming and never giving back. When people realize the world would benefit more from them killing themselves than changing the whole philosoph philosophy, so they have to justify their reason to live by tricking themselves into thinking they're doing good. Anyway, I just wanted to live my life desperately struggling to pay back my lifetime's worth of consumption. If it was a process to the point, then I'm a net positive and I can die happy. Of course, even if I fail to do that, I think I'd be too selfish to kill myself anyway. So much of being a good person, right? Uh huh. Okay. I need to... Can I save? There's no point in saving the game. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Can I quit? Okay, so I quit. Where is, like, Steam? Okay. Hold okay, so I managed to find the files. So if I go into characters, it's literally just Monica. So I'm just going to delete her. Um, refresh it, see if anything happens. No. There's some text. I'm just gonna have a look at these texts for a second. Copyright, yeah, yeah, I get the copyright one. I'm sorry, but an uncle expression of code while well, running game code. 
Oh jeez, I didn't break anything. Did I? Hold on a second, I'll fix this. I think, actually, you know what? It would probably be a lot easier if I just delete her. She's one of making it so difficult. Oh well, here goes nothing. Hmm, so they're actually talking in the text. Let's just see if there's anything in this one. Um, no, there's nothing in this one. But this one says read me. So we're just going to have a quick look at this because it says read me. And then we'll get back in the game. Yeah, so the game's there. Load internet. Let's just boot up the game. Let's see what happens. I deleted you. What's happening? Jara, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Jara. Please hurry and help me. Monica doesn't want to see this. Help me. Monica does not exist. Monica does not exist. Did you do this to me, Jara? Did you? Did you delete me? Getting too self aware. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Jara. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Will you only pretend to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Jara, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Hello? Monica? Monica? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish things and disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you want to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I made up my mind. Jara, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the Lucha Club. I really did love the Lucha Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. If I really love you, then... I'm just going to turn the brightness down. Donkey! Donkey! And Monica's not there anymore. What happens if I say, like, I can't? Hmm. So if I do new game? So you join surrounded by a group. Hey, Jara. Okay, so I can't press skip. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say that out loud. Come on, please. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sari. All the same. Actually, I've just signed a club, really. Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Again, doing three. I recall the number. Ah, oh, Jara, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm here. Alright, well, it's nice to meet you both. Look forward to working with you. I've decided to join the literature club. After all, Zuki decided to everyone sit down. Let's 
Have some cupcakes. The whiskers are drawn with icing. Little pieces of chocolate used to make ears so cute. Sorry, I can take one. It's delicious. I turn the cup around, looking at the best thing to buy. I can't have a nose glance. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally, take a bite. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nozuki. Well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Nuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Who doesn't like a hot cup of tea while reading? Alright, just trying to, again, skip through, see if anything's different. Anyway, let's see. Like, nothing's different. Besides... Oh, Sayori so is now like the moniker of the group. Yeah, so Sayori's president. Then as for Yuri, I have Rimanga. Doki, Doki! Alright, really, I mean, makes me happy. Would you like to come along with me if you don't mind? Not at all. So cute, sorry, shut up. <laughs> I look forward to it too. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Um, around her. Oh, don't say it. that's embarrassing. I really wanted to thank you. I mean, really happy that. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm present now. But I really know everything, Jara. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Or. Eh. Uh, er. Uh, no. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Jara. Goodbye, Lucha Club. So, Monica? Hi. Been, like, practicing piano and stuff, and not Monica. Really any good at it yet, like, at all. Mm-hmm. I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So... What yeah. is happening? Okay, playing audio. I can be with you. In my hand of me and you. Just a fine, not special day. Doki Doki Literature Club. So I guess this is the official end of Doki Doki Literature Club. Are these the credits? Yeah. When to do today. For many way. So I didn't see those paths, but I saw these. So they keep deleting the images. 
Bravo to this team though, they have done such an amazing job. I didn't see this one either. Okay. So yeah, I kind of went down the Yuri path. So that's what if, if I spend the weekend with Natsuki, I think. Who are dear to me? What? Hi. Oh, that's cute. Oh, you can actually see me in the back. That's like the first time you see the character. Special thanks, Monica and Jara. It's deleting the menu and scripts. May we love by a team, Salvato. I'm probably saying that really wrong, but bravo to this team, man. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is a truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it can it continues to expose the innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to com comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish empathy. For the time I lost, I want to thank you for making my dreams come true, for being friends of all the club members, and most of all, thank you for playing my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Okay. And I guess that's the end. It just literally kicked me out again. Can I do anything if I come back in? No, it just brings me back to the ending. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And tell me, who was your favorite character? Was it Monica? Sayori? Natsuki? Or Yuri? Or Jara, the character? Who knows? Anyway, Jara, see us in the next video. Sarcasm out. And let's bring it in for a race, guys, at home. Bye-bye. See ya. And that is the end of Literature Club, everybody. Yeah.